What are games? Games are help. Games are a forum for our students, roughly 18 to 20 students at a time, to be in a controlled environment, in a room, where they can address the issues that have come up that day, maybe the day before. It's an opportunity for our students to address issues that may arise between each other during the work day or in their dorms or whenever they're interacting with each other. It gives the participants an opportunity to kind of a release valve where they can't during the day, they have to be polite and act as if they're friendly and act as if they're um, respectful and then at night they can kind of release some of that. If someone is being very selfish, if someone's being very self-centered, if someone's being um, uh, angry, then the other participants, the other students in the, in the group can call them on it and say, I noticed you cut in line at lunchtime, and I noticed you were holding back and not working hard that day. Sometimes people will just vent in games. You know, just it might not even have anything to do with the person they're playing the game with. They're just frustrated about something inside, and they just need to get it off their chest. They just need to have somebody, a soundboard, to, to bounce it off, you know. And it makes a big difference in a therapeutic community when it's your peer holding you accountable instead of some therapist or some doctor or some counselor or your parents. Having your peers who know exactly all the games you play and all the, you know, all the different uh, manipulation tricks and all the lies and all the cons, they see right through them. There's two things that come out of games. The first thing is that somebody is able to vent frustration. Um, and the second thing is that the person that you're addressing gets an opportunity to listen to the feedback and hopefully uh, lay down in bed that evening and think about the things that have been brought to them and make a decision to work on them.